Hey guys, Chris Fix here, and today I'm going to show you how to install a tire pressure monitoring system for your car or truck. The tire pressure monitoring system, also known as TPMS, does exactly what it says. It tells you the pressure of each tire in your car and lets you know if it's getting too low. When you need to use your car, most of the time, people, me included, we just get in the car and go for our drive. But what you should really do is you should really do a quick walk around and check all your tires to make sure they're not flat, make sure that the car looks like it's in good shape to drive, and in this case, everything looks good. Now with the tire pressure monitoring system, it's telling me, hey look, that front right tire is low in air. And if we were to take another look at the right front tire, it really doesn't look bad, yet the pressure is half of what it should be. And with the TPMS, you'll be that much safer on the road because you'll know your tire pressures all of the time. And if one's low, like in this situation, now I'm not going to go out and drive on it, I'm going to fill it up with air. Now a tire pressure monitoring system like this is an awesome feature to have. And the reason why I'm showing this to you is because riding around on low tires is dangerous. It's actually so dangerous and such a big problem in the United States that in 2007 it became mandatory that every car made after 2007 has a tire pressure monitoring system built in. So if your car is 2007 or later, Go and check out your owner's manual and it'll tell you all about your tire pressure monitoring system. Some systems, like in my Ford Fiesta, are just going to tell you that your tires are low by illuminating an annoying light on the dashboard. And then you need to go figure out which tires are low. But some systems are pretty good and it'll actually give you the individual tire pressures on each tire. Just like the one up on the screen and just like this. Now if you're like me, the two cars that I drive are older than 2007. I got my 2001 truck and my 1996 Corvette. So right now, if I want to go see what the pressure of each of my tires are at, I need to go down to each tire and take the valve stem cap off. Then I have to get my tire pressure gauge and check each individual tire. And that's definitely not convenient at all. So what's the solution, you might ask? Well, installing your very own tire pressure monitoring system. Now this kit was sent to my P.O. box, and thank you very much because it's hard to impress me, but I'm really loving this. Not only is it gonna be useful on the road, but when I air down and go off-road, this is gonna help me know what my tire pressures are at. As usual, I'll leave a link in the description to where you could get this kit, so it's easy for you to find if you're interested. Now let me go show you how to install this. You could add one of these aftermarket tire pressure monitoring systems to pretty much any vehicle that has a tire stem where you go fill up your air. And it works even if you have a tire pressure monitoring system already, and you want to upgrade. This kit has everything you need, you don't need any special tools or anything, and we'll start the installation by putting the screen in the cigarette lighter. So find your vehicle's cigarette lighter, and then this plugs right in, just like that. And now it's searching for a signal, so we have to install the pressure sensors. Now in my vehicle, the cigarette lighter always has power, but in your vehicle, you might have to put the key in the ignition, and turn it to the run position like that, and then your cigarette lighter should be powered. The next process is going to be repeated at all four wheels. I'm just going to do it at the front driver's side wheel to show you. Before we go install the sensor, what you want to do is you want to get all your tire pressures the same. For the stock tire size, you could go into your door jam here and there's a sticker. And on this sticker will tell you your tire pressure for the front, which is 30 psi cold, and for the rear, which is 30 psi cold. You could also look on the tire itself, and this will give you the max pressure your tire should be filled to, but I suggest going by what the door jam sticker says. So not only do we want to get the correct tire pressure for our tire, I also want to see how accurate our sensor is. So I have my very accurate tire pressure gauge right here that I also checked against these two gauges, and they're all within a half a PSI. And we have exactly 30 PSI in the front. Now that we know the pressure's correct, let's go install our pressure sensor. This is real simple. Slide the dust boot over the valve stem, tighten down the security locking nut, and then grab the correct labeled sensor, in this case the left front sensor, and just tighten it down so it's snug and you don't hear any air leaking out anymore. Just like that. To prevent people from stealing the sensor, the nut you put on tightens up against the sensor, and then you use a spanner and wheel wrench to lock the sensor in place. So now this won't come off unless if you have these tools, which is a good thing because now you can't steal it. But it's also a pain because you have to keep this in your glove box if you ever need to air up. Now the final step is to grab some soapy water and just spray it down and look for bubbles. If there's bubbles, that means there's a leak, so you have to undo the nut and tighten this down more. This is what a leaking sensor looks like with bubbles forming. But with the sensor we just did, I don't see any bubbles, so we could slide that dust cover over the sensor. And we are done. 
Now just repeat these steps for each tire, putting the dust boot on, then the lock nut, then the sensor, and tighten it all down. It's that easy. Now that all the sensors are installed, let's go inside and look at our screen. So with my testing at different pressures, my air pressure gauge is within 1 PSI of the TPMS, which is pretty accurate. And our screen synced up to the correct pressures for each tire. Now when you're driving along, the screen is right there. It's really easy to see, and you'll know exactly what pressure your tires are at. If you're braking constantly, the front tires are going to warm up faster, so the front brakes are going to create heat and heat up these tires. Every 10 degrees that the air heats up in the tire, you get plus 1 PSI. And the same thing goes for when it's cold in the morning. For every 10 degrees Fahrenheit that the temperature goes down, you're going to see 1 PSI less. And then if one tire goes down below 20 PSI where it starts getting dangerous, the sensor will let you know by beeping, just like this. Now after you finish driving and you pull the key out of the ignition, on my car, this cigarette lighter is always hot. There's always power. The cool thing about this is it shuts off just like that because it knows the car is off. So now it won't be draining my battery. Hopefully you learned something new about tire pressure and also how to install your own tire pressure sensors. Anytime I come across cool stuff that I really like, that I think you guys are going to like, I'm going to share it with you and this is one of them. As always, the links to the products that I use are located in the description so that you could easily find them and check them out yourself. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Oh yeah, one last thing, don't forget to put your wrenches inside your glove compartment.